All right, hello everyone. This is yours truly, Triple G. I'm here at. I'm actually not at my house. I'm getting my PDXT Jacksonville Jackson demolition pickups swapped, as I have threatened you guys before. So um, I opened up the back cavity to change the volume volume to volume tone, which is a little bit more traditional, and I do like having a tone knob and. I realized that the job was a little bit more complicated than my uh, shitty skills. So I am here at uh, Raul's. Raul is, I guess, currently my go-to tech for doing this kind of crap. From uh, now on? Well, actually, Raul did a whole bunch of guitars for me a couple years ago. If you guys uh, dig up a video of the ones where... I got my Gibson Flying V done. I got my uh, Gibson Les Paul changed out with the Sir Doug Aldrich pickup set, and he's done like several. He did several guitars for me that day. So anyhow, but since then I have uh, I have upped my soldering skills. So I've been doing my own pickup change, but this one is messed up. So I brought my guitar and bare knuckle Blackhawk over to Raul over here. So Raul, how how long have you been working on guitars, bro? A uh, long time, man. Like maybe ten years, I want to say. Wow! And you came out of uh, MI, right? Yeah, MI, and then landed a job with Schechter right away, like right after. Right, and uh, Raul actually is the tech at Schechter right now, where he is doing all the QC and QA for the um, guitar. He worked at Schechter Custom Shop for about a year, and now he's also. Um, checking out all the guitars in the diamond series and you know whatnot anyhow so uh, Raul obviously is a very skilled tech and he does a bunch of work weekends and at night or whatever I'm checking out his work and he's like super tidy and doing a real good job I mean that that cavity sure. is looking fucking sexy I mean that's just pure orgasmic experience right there so um that's that. So Raul and I are, you know, we're here talking shop. We're just talking guitars or whatnot. Um, very unfortunate. I'm not the biggest fan of Schecter guitars because, uh, you know, then we would have a little bit more to talk about. Mm -hmm. So, but we're actually talking about building a guitar together, something that I want to build but don't have the skills for. And um, Raul's got a full-on shop going on here with the uh, CNCs and everything else. So uh, hopefully things will work out and. Uh, if any of you guys in LA area, I know some of you have asked me, you know, hey, can you give me your text info and you're from freaking Canada and Arkansas and Michigan, and why, why, why? Go to your local tech. But if you're um, in LA area and you need a um, great tech, reasonable rate or whatnot, you uh, click on the link down below in the description and uh, Raul will take a super good care of you. And, you know, just for the fact that not only he came out of MI Luthier class, but he is a very tech that's working with all the guitars that are being shipped to guitar centers and Sam Ashes or whatever, all the Schechter guitars. So he's got um, plenty of hands-on experience. Man, I just can't get over the, uh, the, the cleanliness of the uh, cavity right there. That's some top-notch work. By the way, the uh, bare knuckles have gone into the guitar, so he's uh, wrapping up the wiring, but I'm telling you, the pickups look dead sexy. I'm hoping they sound as good as they look, because uh, it's looking crazy right now. It's looking good. But even the professional needed to uh, look at the wiring diagram, so look at that. Oh, yes. So we're, we're cheating a little bit, <laughs> but that's all right. So how far along are we? Uh, we just got the wires, the pickup wires to wire up, and then that should be it. Everything else is all good. Jack's on there, the volume tone's wired up, everything's wired up, so it's just, just the pickups. Cool, cool. And we have uh, dumped the uh, shitty stock potentiometers. Uh, they were 500K or whatever, but I'm, I'm sure they're not as good as uh, CTS uh, pots that we've just put in, so... Um, this guitar is getting some major surgery done, basically. All the uh, guts have been pulled. All right, so I'll cut the video now, and I'll come back once uh, the back is sealed and uh, pickups, uh, the, 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 the strings are on and such, so you guys can see the final result.
All right, so we are rolling again, and we are now done with the inside wiring. Look at that. That's how it should be done. Now, if I did this job myself, it would not look like this. I guarantee it. So, Raul, what do you think about the pickups? I mean, obviously, we haven't played, but the magnetic pull and everything, what do They're you think? pulling my damn, uh, these guys, like, crazy, dude. It's got a lot of pull on there. Well, let's flip it over real quick and uh, show the show the people what the pickups look like before the strings go on. Look at that, kids. Almost look like fret wires just being yeah, know, that's like this, and it just look like frets. But it's look at that. Crazy. It's looking hot. Looks good. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. We're going to close up the back. We're going to string it up, and I'll uh, we'll come back with you to you guys with a video of a playthrough at some point. Maybe not today, but whatever. Bye, everyone.